Welcome, folks. This is your host, Seishu, again with TiffinCast. I'm with Jenica, Psychology for Photographers. She runs the, the blog. It's popular. It's popular for one great reason. Um, it is an awesome blog. I mean, she writes blog posts that really, really move you to take action. And, and I am one of them. I, I promise you that this is not hype. Uh, Jenica, welcome, and thank you for making the time for this. Um, I... I Go ahead, go ahead, please don't talk. Oh, I just said thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, Jenica, you know, this is a very interesting time for uh, photographers. I know there's um, a lot of us, uh, m me included, you know, who are restructuring their websites. Uh, we've certainly um, thought about what would best be uh, the way to position ourselves. Uh, but one of the things that surprises me a lot is that, you know, uh, for whether it's for SEO or even for just straight up messaging to your clients, I find photographers aren't very good about writing, and aren't very good about describing, aren't very good about persuading. Um, it's they they almost feel like the photos should speak for themselves. What do you think about that? Well, I think I think photographers are in a tough place because you have to be a master of many things. You have to be a master of photography. You have to be a master of marketing. You have to be a master of web design and web communication and social media. I mean, the list goes on. And writing often falls to the bottom. But in many ways, um, communication through writing is just as important as how people are communicating through their photos. Uh, we often forget, as photographers, that although we are experts at photography, our clients are not. Our clients do not have the visual skills to distinguish between types of photography and so many times although I think your your visual branding is important um, I think it is just as important to be able to shore it up with the correct wording and with persuasion through writing uh, as well so um, it's, it's tough because it's one more thing to learn but I do believe it is important when it comes down to it uh, there are f very few resources uh, for photographers other than, of course, having gone through you know high school or college, probably where they've taken a course in writing, uh, where photographers are taught how to write, what to write, uh, what would really resonate with their clients. What do you what, what do you think about the the state of that uh, in terms of you know what what do what do you think photographers should be doing in terms of reaching out and, and trying to learn how to write. Well, I, well, the biggest way to learn how to write is to simply read a lot. <laughs> so there's that. Um, but I think I think you're right in that um, there are there are workbooks out there that you can find, or, or even you could go to your library and find free books. The problem is that there's kind of a lack of uh, writing resources that are targeted to photographers, mm -hmm. and there's also a lack of uh, ability to find mentorship within writing and. It doesn't really matter where you are in the writing process. It always helps to have another person go through it with you and give you other perspectives. And so that kind of one-on-one -on -one is especially missing, I think, for photographers. Um, and I get a lot of requests to, for me to, they want, people want to hire me to write copy for them um, because they simply don't know how to do it themselves and they haven't found someone to teach them how to do it. Uh, give me, can you give me an example of, uh, of a photographer who's perhaps either come to you or has decided that, uh, you know, working on her or his website with a little bit more tax um, has taken them to, to another level? I mean, do, do you have examples of people, uh, you know, having great images, of course, that sort of is a given, but have having great text that sort of combines the two, marries the two together and, and makes it even more uh, convincing for a client to say, yes, this person really gets me. Yeah, what, what I've done with several photographers has been to take their information that they have already, and, but change it from a situation where they're like, oh, this is me, this is what I do, this is what I can do, and change it and kind of flip it around and make it all about the client so that when the minute the client lands on the website, they recognize, number one, that they're in the exact right place, Number two, that the photographer understands their specific situation, their specific dilemmas that they encounter. And number three, that that photographer provides a solution that will eliminate those hassles or the pain points or whatever the client is, is searching for. Um, and I found that not only have the clients responded better that, that photographers have reported to me, but also that the photography of the photographer feels more confident that their message is truly getting across and they find themselves more confident in their marketing and sending people to their sites. 
Um, my next question is, I mean, it's, the reason you're here is obviously because you have a new course uh, that will help photographers elevate their game, become more than just photographers who are just posting great images, but also have persuasive text on their websites and their marketing, perhaps even, uh, where they are able to connect with clients that they're really meant to serve. Um, tell us a little bit about your course. What is it? What does it involve? Um, how long is the course? What is it that a photographer like me can get out of the course um, in, in that short span of time? So the course is going to be four weeks. There will be a lesson delivered through PDF once a week. And throughout the course, there will be two opportunities to meet with me personally. And I will personally go over um, whatever struggles you're having with writing um, on the assignments that we'll be working on together. And there will also be two assignments that you'll turn in. And it can be a blog post. It can be something that we're working on in the course. And I will personally edit it. And and um, I, <laughs> I'm kind of the go-to person for editing in my circle. Um, and I have successfully edited um, applications to Harvard, to Stanford, um, getting very competitive jobs, very competitive grants and things like that. I have a lot of experience with persuasion and targeting towards an audience. And so I wanted to make that editing experience available to photographers on top of the coaching and on top of the actual content. But in terms of what the course covers, <laughs> there's sort of two sides to persuasion. The first side is sort of the direct sales way of selling, and that's the sales writing that people make fun of, but it is incredibly effective. There are simply some brass tax tactics of persuasion that everybody needs to understand to adapt to their own situation. However, a lot of photographers uh, aren't comfortable writing in a, in a salesy manner, um, and so I want to show them how they can adapt these tactics to their specific situation. Um, because not all photographers want a website that looks like a direct sales page where it's just all the sales writing and then book now. Mm -hmm. That's not what we're about. So the other side of the course is there's something to be said for you know selling directly to someone, but there's also an element of persuasion through trust that I we will be covering in the course. Because there's you know if someone just has a really convincing argument of why you should hire them, that's one thing. But it's a completely different thing for someone to show that, you're, that they are trustworthy mm -hmm. and that you just believe that what they're going to offer you is worthwhile. Um, and, and that trust is what is persuasive. And that is something that photographers intuitively want to do, right. um, oftentimes right. struggle to do effectively. And that's what another thing we're going to focus on. So we're going to hit it from two angles. That's fantastic. Um, and it's a four-week course. Is that right? Yes, yes. The first uh, lesson goes out on July 8th, and it runs through August 2nd. Wonderful. Uh, Jenica, I have a question for you that I hope it's a little, uh, if it's okay for me to ask you. Sure. Uh, how, why are you doing this? Um, a couple of reasons. The first one is I personally love writing, and I love helping people with writing. And I have found that my life has been exponentially easier because of the writing skills that I have, and I want to make other people's lives easier by handing over this toolbox because the things that I do are not hard. They can be taught, and they're useful not just in photography but across the board. I've gotten scholarships. I've gotten grants. I've gotten admitted to exclusive programs because of my writing skills, and it's absolutely something that other people can learn. The other thing is in terms of just why am I doing it now, ever since I launched my Irresistible Website ebook, I've been flooded with people saying, you know, I really love the way my website is structured, I love the content, but the writing is just, uh, it's just not quite there, I need some help tweaking it, and they want to hire me to do it, and I, I want to say, you know what, I'll just teach you how to do it yourself. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you so much for joining us today, Jenica. I appreciate the time, and I look forward to being a part of your class. I, I, you've just definitely convinced me and persuaded me to join it. So I will see you on the, on the 8th of July. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I can't wait. Bye. Bye.